Hi guys, welcome back to Code Dice. Uh, in the last video, we had a discussion about nested for loop concept is actually. So in this particular video, I'll going to discuss a transfer statement. In the case of Python, we're going to discuss a transfer statement. Basically, I will going to discuss a three transfer statement that is called as a break, continue, and pass break continue and pass these three i'll going to discuss first i'll going to discuss break then i'll going to discuss continue and then i'll going to discuss something like a pass right and i'll going to discuss where we're we'll going to use all those concept and all these things right fine sir so here if you'll observe very carefully first my question is what uh, observe very carefully how to exit how to exit from the loop right how to exit from the loop the answer is by using break by using break clear na sir how to exit uh, how to exit from the loop how to stop the flow of execution of a loop so you have to use a break statement you have to use a break statement for that okay na fine suppose i want to print the number from 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 but my intention is what whenever the number is equals to eight, I will stop the flow of executions. I will stop the flow of executions. At that particular case, you can go for something like a, a break concept. See, my intention or my code, suppose normally my code will going to print 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But my intention, whenever the number is equal to six, don't print anything, just to stop it. Just to stop it, just to break it. So that is what called as a break. I'll, I'll discuss pro programmatically, right? Fine, sir. So here, normally what I'll do, I will going to write a code for, for i in a range, i in a range, I in range of 10 that means uh, it will going to uh, print from 0 to 9 right so execute it it will going to print normally from 0 to 9 but i don't want to print now 1 to 9 i want to print up to 6 up to 6 whenever the i value is 7 don't print anything so that means uh, what i will do whenever i'll going to write uh, whenever i is equals to 7 break it break it that's it means the first time i is how much zero it will going to print and it will going to check uh, it won't execute if what then again i one print won't execute then i two print then won't execute then i three then it will not execute this one then i four five six whenever the i value is a seven it will going to print a seven whenever the i value is a seven it will going to print seven and it will going to break it Right. So what output you can expect? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then if the i value is a 7, break it means to stop the flow of execution. So some people may expect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, no, no. Here before breaking, we are printing the i value. So if we'll print here, if we'll print here, then you can expect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, not 7. Right. Not a 7. Why? Because First break means it won't be executed. Okay. So normally, uh, how it is executing means uh, uh, just to have a look once i in range 10. Matlab 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So then go inside i is equal to 7. No. Then it will going to print i means it will going to print 0. Then i pointing to 1, it will going to print. It will like not execute this one like two, then three, four, five, six. So whenever the I value is seven, then I is equal to seven, break. Break means entire stop the flow of executions. One to six, you can expect by using break concept, right? Fine, sir. So this is what exactly called as a break in the case of a uh, for loop, right? Fine. Next, we will move towards uh, break means uh, exit from the loop. Break means exit from the loop. Stop the flow of executions of the loop is called as break. We'll move towards continue now. We'll move towards a continue. Continue means what? Huh? Continue means what? Huh? Continue means what? Huh? Observe very carefully. Now, if you want to skip some part 
or if you want to skip some iterations, then you may go for uh, continue. Continue means uh, the clear cut information. Skip, skip means what? Uh, suppose, suppose I want to print the number from one to ten or uh, zero to nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I don't want four. That means I am skipping that particular uh, four iterations, right? So that means uh, in this particular case, you may go for continue. Suppose uh, I don't want the four or I don't want the two or I don't want the two and three. I don't want the two and the three. So in this particular case, if you want to skip something or if you want to skip some iterations, then you may go for continue part. It's just a have a look once the same example for I in a I in a range of 10, I in range of 10. So if I'm going to print, it will going to print the I uh, something like a 0, 1, 2, 9, right? 0, 1, 2, up to 9, it will going to print. But I don't want a 2. If you don't want a 2, uh, I, I don't want a 5. So that means if, if uh, something like uh, I is equal to, equal to 5, just to continue, Man, just to skip it, just to skip it. And here I'm going to print I. So have a look once. Have a look once. First time zero, then one, then two, then three, then four, then six. Why? Because whenever, 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 just have a look once. Whenever the I first time, it will going to generate from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to this. Whenever the I value zero, then it won't execute. It will going to print a zero. Then I value one, it won't execute. I value two, it won't execute. I value three, it won't execute. I value four, it won't execute. Whenever the I value is a five, then it will execute continue. Continue means it will go back to that particular loop. It will go back to it, that particular loop. It will go back to this particular loop. It will not go to next statement. It will not go to next statement. Break means entire stop. Continue means it will go back to loop. It will go back to loop. It will not enter into or it will not go to next line or something like it will go back to loop. So let's keep kind of things. Right. Fine, sir. Yeah. So I want something like or i is equals to is equal to 8. That means what? If the i value 5, skip it. If the i value 8, again, skip it. So that means what you can expect? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. A 6789 you can expect. So there is no 8, there is a no 5. Right. So this is how you can do the skip operations. See, if I'll write i is equals to 55, if I'll write i is equal to 55, then skip it. But there is no i uh, there is no 55, right? There is no 55. In future, I will never point into 55. So that's why you will expect 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's it. Clear cut information. Clear? Fine. So this is what called as a break and a continue basically. Next and after that we're going to discuss uh, something like a pass a keyword. Pass a pass a keyword I'm going to discuss. Pass pass keyword. See first thing pass uh, is very very helpful keyword says actually. So if you want to talk about empty statement or empty body it will very workful in empty 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 statement okay. So pass means empty statement, I can say. Empty statement. Or you can say if you want to provide, if you if you, you want to provide, want to provide empty body, then go for pass a statement. That's it, clear cut information. If you want to do nothing, go for pass. Do nothing. Pass means do nothing. Right? Fine. So my intention is what? I, I'll, I'll show you one example so that you will get more clarity, right? So I have a, uh, I have a for loop, right? I'll go and write for loop i in a range of uh, 10, means 0 to 9. So I'll go and try to print uh, I. If I'll write print I, it will going to print all the numbers 0 to 9. But I want to print only even numbers. I want to print only even numbers. So what I'll do? Now, if I mod 2 is equals to 0, then print I. Then print 
i print a i print a i so it will going to print only even numbers uh, what are the problem yeah only even numbers basically right so my intention is what if the number is even printed if the number is no, nothing if the number is odd then don't do anything don't do anything means a pass don't do anything means empty body same output you are expecting but here in this particular else case uh, pass pass means a empty body pass means a empty body do nothing do nothing if it is even print is if it is odd do nothing do nothing just as keep it means empty body so if the number is odd then print it otherwise do nothing that means what so here you will going to write a pass here you will going to print this one getting or not what exactly i am saying so here now it will going to print all the odd numbers so if the number is even pass it pass it means won't do anything don't do anything empty body na don't do anything so if this condition true then what exactly it will going to do nothing then it will go and it will going to check uh, it will going to increase the i value that's it do nothing empty body if you want to provide empty body then at that particular time you have to use just pass you have to use a pass so we're going to discuss like this concept like a def f1 okay something like pass statement to provide the uh, something like a function without the empty body function without the function with the empty body right so we're going to discuss like in the case of java you may heard about abstract methods right method without the implementation part or body part same things i'll going to discuss in a oops right so met function or method without using a method without a body part at that particular time this pass is very very helpful so, right this pass is a very very helpful so function with empty body function with empty body so else with empty body if with empty body if you want to use empty body use pass that's it if you want empty body use pass do nothing pass means do nothing means do nothing that's it do nothing right so this is what exactly called as pass so yes we will going to use it uh, in our like oops concept that's it this is the clear cut information sir and this is the complete story of uh, pass break and continue right pass means empty body break means uh, something like exit from the loop stop the execution continue means uh, just to skip some iterations based on your requirement thank you guys uh, thanks for watching this particular video we will meet in the next video for the continuation part thank you so much